Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Boulder Talk with ABC. I am your host, ABC, and we are back to for another time to talk about our New York Boulders. Uh, last week, we covered a in-depth, deep dive into their new manager, TJ Stanton. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, you should go watch that, watch all my videos, and we very much appreciate it, and they are all very good and take a lot of time and energy. So please do, if you have the chance, go watch them. Now, uh, as I promised last week, this week we're going to be taking a little bit deeper of a dive into the new roster itself. Like I said, the Boulders have a lot of new pieces this season, and it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, again, not as long, uh, many known names, the known names of the Marcus Nidifers and the Joe Maloney's and the Jared McDonald and the Jared Edmondson's of the world are no longer on this team. We got some new blood as we entered the Frontier League for the first time. We are now officially actually 87 days away from opening day here in Boulder. So as I see, we are slowly but surely getting closer to opening day itself. Now, as I said, the Bulls are preparing for their first season in the Frontier League. They announced in November-ish that they had acquired six new players via signings and seven, uh, a seventh player in a trade. The trade was with the Washington Wild Things, which will be the Boulders' first opponent this year, actually. The Boulders had acquired 24-year-old right-handed pitcher Jake Dexter in exchange for former Boulders infielder now Richie Fechtiao. Dexter was signed to the University of Southern Maine in 2019 by the Los Angeles Angels organization. He played for their Arizona affiliate in rookie ball. I uh, played one season in 2019, actually, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, Fecta, the guy who was actually traded, played one season with the Boulders in 2019, hitting 236, 16 home runs, and 38 RBIs. Not a bad stretch by any means for a uh, for a season with that many games, but the batting average OBP, he was kind of a hit for the fences or miss type of guy. Uh, the players inked the new deals by the Boulders were right-handed pitchers Nathan Alexander and Zach Schneider as well as left-handed pitcher John Kane, first baseman Ray Hernandez, shortstop Austin Dennis, and outfielder Milton Smith. Uh, Nathan Alexander is 24. He was a 2018 draft selection of the Miami Marlins and spent the 2019 season with the Clinton Lumber Kings of the Class A Midwest League, uh, while Schneider, uh, is 23, was originally signed by the Boston Red Sox out of the Florida Atlantic University in 2019 and spent that summer with the Sox Ghost, Gulf Coast Rookie League team. Yeah. While um, John Kane, who's tw also 24, born in Bronxville and graduated of Pine Bush High School in Ulster County. He was signed out of Manhattan College by the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim in 2019 and played that summer with the Arizona Rookie League team. He's 6'10", he's, like I said, a southpaw, and he also pitched for the Rockland Boulders in this past summer's All-American Baseball Challenge. So a little bit more familiarity than the rest of these guys, but that mainly orchestrates the, uh, the new pitching staff. Um, it's nice to see getting some new blood in the pitchers. Uh, I think the guy to really look out for is Kane, uh, just because he's played a bit more with the Boulders than the other two. But they've all are former major league prospects, so it will be interesting to see this new rotation. Uh, moving to the position players, first up is first baseman Ray Hernandez. Hernandez is 24. He was a 2018 draft pick of the Atlanta Braves out of Alabama State University. He logged time in 2019 with the Danville Braves of the Appalachian League, which I believe is the uh, Braves' single-A team. Um, while, uh, let me make sure I get his name right here, Austin Dennis, the shortstop, Let's tell him here for a second. <laughs> uh, ah, yes, he's 24. He was a 28 draft choice of the Houston Astros. He will thankfully not be bringing any trash can banging over to Rockland. Uh, he was a choice, uh, 2018 choice of the Astros in the, in the MLB draft. He was out of Middle Tennessee State. He shared time in 2019 with the Round Rock Express of the Class AAA Pacific Coast League, so quite a bit more experience than some of the other guys and Quad Cities River Bandits of the Midwest League. So he's played at the highest level out of all these guys that I've mentioned so far. Uh, both these guys are right-handed bats. And then the last guy is Smith, who is a 23, a left-handed hitting outfielder with exceptional speed, as I am told from multiple uh, sources. 
He was drafted by the Miami Marlins in 2018 out of Meridian uh, Community College. He played the 2019 season with the Batavia Muck Dogs, I believe is how you actually say the name, of the Class A New York Penn League. And all of these guys will be joining the Boulders this year for their first season in the Frontier League. And as I said, the front, as I've never actually addressed, the Frontier League itself it debuted in 1993. It's the largest and longest running of the modern independent leagues, featuring teams stretching from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River, from the Ohio River to the St. Lawrence Seaway. This past September, this, uh, the Frontier League finally did not really become an independent anymore. They reached an agreement to become a partner league with the M with MLB Baseball. As a partner league, and this was some of the questions that I was going to answer. I remember I said last week, I didn't know if they were going to, the Boulders and other teams in the league were going to be a subsidiary of some of these MLB teams. Um, it's still is looking like no, it's just looking like there'll be a partner league. So as a partner league, the Frontier League and its teams will meet on a regular basis with MLB representatives to discuss joint marketing and promotional opportunities, as well as collaborate on initiatives to provide organized baseball to communities throughout the U.S. and Canada. So as far as um, players being fed into the pipeline directly from MLB teams, meaning any of these teams acting as a rookie ball or single A organization, that appears to be unlikely at this time. Meanwhile, a little bit of publicity here for the Boulders. The season ticket packages, I believe, are going to start coming out soon. So that'd be nice to see. Uh, I might even look into getting one. And the Boulders, this will officially be, I did not mention this. I forgot actually to mention this. This will be the Boulders 10th season of professional baseball. So celebrating 10 years of the Boulders being around and now joining the newly formed Frontier League and partnering with the MLB. It is great, great stuff to see. Um, as far as really other guys on the roster to keep an eye on, once again, I have limited experience with this roster due to the fact of how new it is. But going back to those batters, I think the guy to keep an eye on is Austin Dennis. Uh, he has played at a higher level than any of the other guys I mentioned, playing a little bit of triple A ball. Uh, the shortstop is always a key piece to pretty much every baseball team. Uh, I implore you to find me a good baseball team that didn't have a good shortstop, whether it was at, with the glove or with the bat. I do not have his stats in front of me right this moment, but I could endeavor into looking into them a little bit more for a future uh, podcast. Like I said, I'm the guys I'm going to be looking forward to seeing are Dennis and Kane, the southpaw. I, you know, big left-handers, typically the, the stereotypical ace of a staff. I don't know if he is going to be the ace. I don't even know if he is going to be in the starting rotation or the bullpen. It is not made entirely clear yet. I'm sure that will be made clear come training camp. So thank you all very much for watching this edition of Boulder Talk with ABC. As always, it is a great joy of mine to bring this podcast to all of you and to just talk with my fans and get everybody a little bit excited about minor league baseball for this upcoming season. This was just kind of a brief dive into some of the new acquisitions the Boulders have this year. Uh, I would look, I would mark your calendars and be ready for next week's episode as we have a bit of an exciting announcement. As of right now, next week, I will be on podcast, regular time, probably late afternoon Friday. There will be an interview with Seth Cantor. If you don't, if that name sounds familiar, he was the one, he's a bold, been a Boulders broadcaster for a long time. He is the voice of the Boulders. And he was interviewing TJ Stanton in our last video. So it'll be very nice to sit down with him and talk a lot about up, the upcoming season, maybe pick his brain a little bit about some of the intricacies of the Boulders organization in general, the business of broadcasting, uh, maybe even looking forward to this upcoming season. Obviously, he spent more time around the team than I have, so it will be a very good perspective to get. And we will get to see him, and we'll get to talk about this new upcoming Boulders roster. And once again, he has more information than I do, so that will be exciting to see. Stay tuned. Get here next week for that. But thanks again, everybody, for watching this edition of Boulders Talk with ABC. Please go check out my previous episodes if you have not. And please definitely tune in next week. I'm ABC, and I will see you all next time. Go Boulders.